a little twist to everything that happened in 2020 and that is the trailer that you just saw which is wildfire now we have some of the main characters in the house seated with me now very first guest let me introduce her okay so funny thing is when you go on google one of the main questions that people are asking about this character is where is martha Ankuma? martha Ankuma, please where are you i'm here <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, beautiful. How are you? I'm blessed and highly favored. And you? Oh, I'm blessed too. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed too. And uh, super excited to be on here with you. I mean, it, you've been, it seems like you've been MIA for a while, but we're going to get on to that. What is MIA? MIA is what? Missing in action. Oh, ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, but before we get on to that, let me introduce my second guest. Hello, Joelina Accra. Hi, I see you, Dua. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm great, I'm great. So you are in the movie Wildfire. Yeah. And this is your first movie. Yes, it is. You're going to get on to that. Okay, okay so now let's delve into Wildfire, okay? okay? Uh, I mean, I am itching to know the storyline obviously watching the trailer is about you know happenings during the covid yeah. and then but there's a twist to it because martha i saw your husband in there and then i saw another scene too that you were with a different man <laughs> so first of all we'll tell it us sounds about like friends with benefits <laughs> yeah friends, exactly <laughs> friends with benefits so ajete wasn't my husband he mm -hmm. was my sweetheart my my boyfriend okay but um i was actually dating um the church road driver the bus driver that is andrew um, Ando, yes, right. Andrew Tenno Ando, yeah. yeah, and so you know, whenever he comes around with his passengers and he has a problem, I mean, we do friends with benefits, oh, <laughs> like they were discussing. Okay. But I was actually going out with Ajete, and I wasn't expecting Ajete to come around around that time, actually. But because maybe because there was lockdown and the COVID season had showed mm -hmm, up and all that, mm -hmm. he decided to come and spend some time with me. Oh, am I giving the story out? Uh, no, I'm not <laughs> supposed to. Yeah, so people should come and just watch the movie. Okay. Yeah. Let me come to Joelina. This is your first movie. Yeah. How was the experience like for you? And it was a good one. It was a positive one. I mean, getting to work with people like Matt and like you mentioned, um, right. Adote, Andrew Adote mm -hmm. and Calibos mm -hmm. and Ajete, it was um, it was a big deal for me and mm. I learned so much from them on set and I plan to take that with me everywhere I go going forward. Has it always been your desire to want to do movies? Okay, so I mean the passion has always been there but I believe this is a time and opportunity that has presented itself so then I'm taking um, advantage of the opportunity I have now to be in the movie industry. Then I'm interested in knowing how the opportunity presented itself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, how, how did the opportunity present itself? Okay, so I was approached by the Youth Bridge Foundation. Okay. And the Youth Bridge Foundation, it's um, a non-profit um, youth organization that is into youth development. Right. And um, they do advocacies for marginalized groups, that is um, persons with disabilities, Persons with disabilities, my, mm -hmm. I beg your pardon, and mm -hmm. also young women and girls. So um, these are some of their programmatic um, activities that they do. Okay. So when they approached me with the script, I mean, I read it and I thought, oh, this was something very positive. Not only were they trying to educate people, mm. but also it was entertaining as well. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think what impressed me was um, Youth Bridge using... Um, the art and craft mm -hmm. as a tool for educating the general public right. and also as an advocacy tool. So mm -hmm. that was what attracted me mm -hmm. to this particular project. Okay. Yeah. Mother, um, I, I want to know how long did it take to shoot this movie? Okay, I was done before they finished, but I think okay. I spent like, is it 10 days or 14 days on set? On set? Yes, we shot as in Sawim. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. And how many different locations were? Oh, we had different locations. We had mm. different locations, yeah. Okay, Joelina, how was the experience generally being on set with Martha, you know, you know, with the other gurus in the movie industry? How was the experience like generally? Um, it was very fun. Everyone was down to earth. I mean, um, the producers of this movie, Youth Bridge, they went all out for us to make sure we were comfortable, we were um, well taken care of. And also, like I said, it was a very good learning opportunity for me because everybody right. was easy to approach mm -hmm. and i had fun on set yeah mm. it was a good experience but then but before before you started were you nervous were you thinking e what if they don't really you know gel with me so much what, yeah. what, what, what was it that was running through your mind as a first timer okay so for me i think i didn't really have a problem in that area i think for me my main um 
goal was to deliver my lines and not forget my lines. So okay. I think that's what I was focused on most okay. of the time. But okay. then I think that went well. So I'm actually excited to see the premiere tomorrow right. and see how I did in it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so since you've mentioned it, the premiere is happening tomorrow. tomorrow Any yeah. other details that we need to know on the premiere? So the premiere is happening tomorrow at 6 p.m. at Alliance Francais. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And it's a private viewing. So if you want a ticket, I think you need to call the numbers you see out there so that maybe they can reserve a ticket for you. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, we should have done some tickets giveaways, but then, I mean, uh, we are pressed with time, so we can't do that. But tomorrow morning, we are definitely going to give you an opportunity to win some tickets. So your tickets are here with me. So do make sure that you stay tuned with us on uh, Prime Morning uh, tomorrow as well, so you can win some tickets. I mean, Martha, you're going to be there. Yes, definitely. All of, all of the... Uh, all Aditya, Cassidy. and mm -hmm. Carly Bowles, Andrew, mm -hmm. I mean, everyone involved. So yeah. if you want to see Martha tomorrow <laughs> at 6 p.m. at Alliance Frances, please. You haven't seen Martha gracing your screens in a very long time, and that comes to No, we just, we just premiered a movie this January. Um, your oh, beautiful Martha, lady was January. part of it. Yeah. Generally, no, these days, how many times do you see Ghanaian movies? Generally, I don't know. But how many times do you see Ghanaian movies these days? Mm. The movie is selling on YouTube mm -hmm. or something because the right. producers need to make their money. Right. The cinemas are not giving us what we want. Mm -hmm. After showing it at the Silver Bird Cinema, how then do you make your money? Don't forget that whatever you get, the Silver Birds divide us into two. They take half, you take half. As a matter of fact, you even end up paying their taxes for them. Then I believe that's the reason why it's not premiering at Silver Bear. Oh, because no, no, I don't know. No, no, okay. no, not for this, this okay. one. I'm sure they will do that later. Right. I'm sure they will do that right. later. Okay. But that's what's been going on. That's why we keep saying the government should build that cinemas. You've been hearing most of the actors and the actresses coming out to say it. It's, we need cinemas. We need cinemas. We need, but we can make the money back. You get it. Right. And so we do movers, but the producers like to put it on their own platform to make the money. Mm. And so if the producers are not going around um, doing publicity and all that, you don't get to see the movie. I was on set. I'm on set with Nana Mama Brown, with other new faces, with Aaron. She, he was yeah, in uh, um, Yolo, Yolo or yeah. something mm -hmm. with Michael Cops. He was also in Yolo. Nana mm -hmm. he was also in Yolo mm -hmm. with other new faces coming up and all that. And trust me, the producer is thinking of how to make his money back. Exactly. We premiered a happy surprise. We have your beautiful lady who actually presented um, your morning show in there. Okay. Yeah. Right. She was part of the movie. Okay. Actually. Yeah. Okay. And. Trust me, the premiere was so great. We had a lot of people coming to see the movie. We are working on getting the movie on Netflix. Ghana, we don't even have connections. Mostly you have to go through Nigeria. And that is a lot of Wahala. Mm. And so we need the government to step in to support the industry. Okay. And so we do movers, but the producers put the, put the movies on their platform to make the money back. Right. Before they think of giving it to the TV stations. Because you guys don't pay much, you know that. <laughs> wow, Martha, thank you so much uh, for giving us this information. And then we'll make sure to be there tomorrow to support yeah. you at Alliance France at 6 p.m. Yes, for please. the premiere of Wildfire. Joelina, thank you so much for coming thank through. Thank you, Joelina. And all the best to you on your journey as an actress. Thank okay? you. And so this is a great movie. I would like to add that this is a great movie, and we hope to premiere it later on. I'm so sure the producers are in talks with um, okay. the media houses and the okay. cinemas. So when it comes out and when we are doing a public viewing, Please try and get the tickets and come right. watch a movie with your loved one. Okay, yeah. Martha, thank you so much. Unfortunately, this is all the time that we have right here on Prime Morning. My name is Cecilia Akumia, and I did this with KMJ and Rosalind Feli. Thanks so much for joining us. And do make sure to tune in to Joy Prime at 6 a.m. tomorrow, okay? Have a lovely, lovely Thursday. Bye. <laughs>